G'day viewers and welcome to Wanga Fat Wednesday, where I tell you what am I not giving a fuck about today. And today, I'm not giving a fuck about who's using Nazi analogies on who in Australian politics. It's just, you know, ridiculous. Now, I'm probably going to have to apologise to the world because you're probably going to hear me going off a lot about Australian politics and politicians in the eight-month election campaign we're having, which is you know, shorter than the American presidential campaign, but really unprecedented for Australia, where the elections usually only confirm four to six weeks before the big day. So this is all very weird from us, and I think I suspect... Uh, what the Prime Minister's plan was with this long campaign is mainly uh, hold out a small hope the opposition will do something so mind-bendingly fucking stupid or crack under pressure that she'll have a small chance of being re-elected. I mean, really, really small. Really small. It's almost certain the government's going to get crushed in this election. But as far as strategies go, giving them enough rope to hang themselves could well be the most effective one because the Liberal National Party Coalition has really come shooting out of the gate with the stupid turned up to 11. I don't know where they're going to go. They've shot their bolt already. I don't know how much more stupid they can get. They'll probably surprise me with that. But there was this uh, ridiculous shit going on this week when uh, probably my least favourite member of the Liberal National Party Coalition, and that's saying something. One Christopher Pine, I've mentioned this guy before, Look, I feel compelled to say, kids, violence is never the answer. But this fucking guy, honestly, he's like, he's got this horrible smirk on his face all the time. He's like a private school prefect who's never had to face the reality of life. And I just want to smack the smug right out of his fucking face! But that would be wrong, so you shouldn't do that. And you shouldn't take that as advocating violence. Much as you shouldn't see him invoking the movie Downfall as saying the Prime Minister's like Hitler. He said when there was some resignations from the party and whatnot, he's going, Oh, they're in disarray! It's like the final scene of that movie downfall where they're in disarray and people uh, including the new attorney general who happens to be J Jewish calling that offensive uh, particularly to Holocaust survivors and I believe three of his great-grandparents did uh, die in Germany in World War Two uh, and Pine said I wasn't saying the the Prime Minister's like Hitler or that the Labour Party's like Nazis I was just saying she's like that movie Downfall, which is about Hitler. But, okay, you want the weirdest twist in all this? The Attorney General Dreyfus, who said this, has actually previously said uh, the opposition's propaganda tactic is like Goebbels, like repeat the big lie and people start to think it's true. So, the guy who said you can't use Nazi analogies said Nazi analogies before and he said mine was totally different he likened the Prime Minister and the party to Hitler and the party whereas I likened the opposition leader to Goebbels totally different I tell you what you know who else used to invoke the Nazis Hitler no really I'm pretty sure he would have invoked Nazis all the time, but he would have regarded it as a good thing. So you see what I'm saying? This ridiculous sort of shit is probably just going to spoil and get worse, but right now I think we can all agree Christopher Pine is worse than Hitler!